So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. So we always begin the interview with the classical question. How did you enter Bitcoin? How did you get into the rabbit hole? Yeah, it's super boring in my case, to be honest. I'm the new, no, I'm not the new. So invent. <laughs> no, it's not actually like, it depends. But uh, in my case, I'm, I would say the new generation of Bitcoiners. Honestly, I got mainly interested because of the tech, because I always like, you know, sort of the new technologies and, and sort of, you know, innovating money was, sounded pretty cool to me. And I, I went to this sort of like a startup school where, you know, almost like this incubator, where you, where you like have different ideas and you can work on them. And was a guy basically who was very much you know interested so he sold me on it he kind of foreign told me i think it was probably back in 2000 13, 14, something like this, so quite early. Yeah. But like physically, that I actually uh, purchased some Bitcoin that, that happened later. I just, that's from the moment I kind of got interested. And I got like full in once I joined the company, which was uh, four years ago. Okay, so now you're working on Trezor. Exactly. And what is your role and uh, what is all about Trezor? Yeah, so um, I mentioned those four years. I started as a product manager, but then I sort of grew through the company or with the company to uh, CPO, like a chief product officer. So I ran I used to run the product team for a couple of years and now I'm the CEO. So I was sort of, you know, I, I was promoted to this role. I'm super happy about this. And yeah, we are, you know, like uh, we've launched. So we are the first one to create the concept of a hardware wallet in the world some 10 years ago. Uh, you were we, the first one? Yes, yes, oh, we were wow. the first one. It was okay. the first hardware wallet. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, another fun fact is, uh, no, the fun, it's not fun, it's, it's great, it's awesome. So the BIP39, the way you, uh, you know, like yeah. uh, store, back up your private keys by writing those, those 12 or 24 words, that is actually, actually was invented by us as well. Okay. So, and now the, the whole industry is using it, right? Okay. Like Ledger, like with all the competitors, all the software wallets, all the, you know. Okay, pretty so, cool. Yeah, so it's quite cool. So that was invention, invention of the founders of the company. So okay. that, that, that's super cool. And now we are working on new hardware as well because uh, some of the models are, um, you know, fairly old and uh, in are still work. We, we work on the security still. We sent, you know, many updates to those devices, but we are also working on new, completely new hardware, like new hardware devices, new hardware world. What is the new implementation that you are doing? Like, because for newcomer, it seems like everything is done. What can you improve in your hardware wallet? You know, so first, uh, before we started this interview, I, I was commenting on the mics. They're awesome. They're pretty good tech, right? So, so first, we want to move into this more, uh, you know, like, a, let's say, mainstream consumer electronics. So that the design is awesome, you know, so it's like sleek and it's nice. So it's like this Apple-like feeling that you are, you know, almost getting from these devices. So we want to do that as well. I think that's important because we are used to, you know, like, pretty good quality by now, I think, in, in all the consumer electronics. So that's one. The other, you know, for our flagship product that we plan to release and, um, you know, probably somewhere next year or... or maybe even a bit later is basically wireless so in terms of like bluetooth wireless charging all this tech that it, uh, helps you manage you know the device that we want to add as well so it's all about you know usability basically and right now with the the ledger problem <laughs> of communication mainly yeah, yeah how did you how did it impact your your company and your way of maybe i don't know are you open source right now yes we are we are okay. we are fully open source you know everything we can open source by the way we are working also on an open source secure element okay. so that's also a big thing because that's that doesn't happen in the industry you cannot really buy open source chip that does it simply doesn't exist so that's why we started another spin-off another company um but yeah with this with this unfortunate ledger thing it's well it's not just communication the communication wise definitely you know that, that was i think blunder you know they they admitted it i you know i don't wish anything bad for them of course but yeah it was a huge blunder but it's not just the communication because on the product level that's also something we wouldn't do honestly we don't because that's no longer in our in, in, in our view no longer you know self custody in, in its true sense where you really have the private keys on the on the hardware wallet and they never leave the, the hardware wallet which you know in this uh, recovery service they they are sent they to third service. parties and plus there's this KYC thing which we don't like as well honestly so so yeah and as a result it you know our our sales you know skyrocketed um, yes. Again, I, I don't think it's like, uh, oh, we will see what the market will do about it. I think it was just a spike. It's probably not going to be uh, like a longer term thing, but, but who knows? We have, let's say, you know, as kind of to wrap it up, we have had, you know, different approach to things. Open source and, and the private keys shouldn't leave the wallet. Okay. And what would be your advice for a guy that want to start his journey to Bitcoin? Yeah, so, you know, in this sense, I think it's, it's totally fine. I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit it. I think it's fine to start, to start even with custody. It's fine. You know, we have another company here with us, Inviti, who is the part of our Satoshi Labs group, who 
actually has just launched a custody app and it's totally fine. You can you can start, you know, send maybe a small amount with a custodial solution where you really don't own the private keys, there is somebody else, it's fine. You, tr you tried it and then maybe once there's you know more funds, uh, get it on the hardware wallet. So I think it's important because it is risky. Custodial wallets and software wallets are, are hacked all the time. Just last week, Atomic Wallet, you know, I think yeah. around 35 million. Uh, million dollars worth of Bitcoin, you know, lost, gone forever. So like to, to some to some you know thieves. So you know those hacks happen all the time. And so I think it's important. Uh, that you know once you have a certain amount or even even the first amount it's totally fine if you have the money to buy a hardware wallet of course they are not for free you know you need to purchase it but i think uh, it's uh, definitely advisable to to go in there and we by the way as a company really do as much as we can on education and building sim you know the products in a simple way you know intuitive easy to use way so even the newcomers you know feel like at home in, in the product pretty good thanks for your time thanks bye <laughs> Ciao.